um, hello. I'm Justin Noel from uh, ICS, Integrated Computer Solutions, uh, North America's uh, largest uh, Cute and Migo uh, consultancy firm. Uh, what I have here today presenting is a demonstration of a uh, in-vehicle user experience for Migo IVI 1.1. That's in-vehicle infotainment. Uh, there is no user experience, but here at ICS we decided we would take uh, two months and make a demo. So what we have here is a uh, set of gauges and a set of radio applications, such as AM, FM, and Sirius, and an MP3 player, things like the dashboard and mapping. And we actually have this hooked up to real hardware, such as a fuel injection computer, we have an AM, FM uh, tuner. Uh, we have Sirius satellite tuner that I don't have with me because we wouldn't get reception. And what we'll see here is that as we change things and say the fuel injection computer, that things are moving in real time on the screen. We have a little bit of bounce at the end of the gauges. And this is because uh, QML allows us to do these types of dynamic interfaces very quickly. Uh, the fuel injection computer is actually an open source system, open system called Megasquirt. Um, and you communicate with that over serial. Uh, one of the nice things about QML is that it has animations and states built right into the language. So this outer item has five different states, one for each one of the applets. This little applet has two states for a sensor list and a dashboard. Um, and all of the graphics you see here um, were actually done in Photoshop by one of our artists at ICS and then exported directly from Photoshop to this language called QML. And the really nice part is that um, the, every layer in the Photoshop file becomes a separate item in QML. So the dashboard was actually very trivial to do. We did the dashboard in only a day because the needles are separate items in the gauge faces. So uh, basically to move the needles is really just an image rotation, some mathematics bound to a variable from C++. And getting these nice bounce out animations um, is actually something that's also built into QML language. We pretty much say that we want this property transition to be animated and we want to have it bounce out or have a spring animation. And so the entirety of work here is only about two months of work here at ICS to produce uh, what functionality we have in this demo.